Okie dokie or chokey. I just went through this whole thing and I wasn't even filming. Woo! All right. All right. Let's start off with one that includes clips that we've seen before and wondered if there was more. Guess what? There's more fan. <laughs> like the dude with the pinata, that like demonic pinata and stuff. You've probably seen the clip that went viral with the dudes that are like head in their head, you know, smacking a balloon back and forth, you know, headbutting that shit and this like hair tendril comes down that looks total stop motion, whatever, and other shit. Well, there's more including a clip that I was, I'm, I'm trying to figure this shit out, fam. Like, where's the edit? Where's the, where's that shit? I don't know. And another uh, point, I want to say that almost all of the videos in this collection, we've had like tastes of, and this is the extended, this is like the extended edition of Quick. This is by, this is from Project Dark Knight Horror. Dude, the drill? What the fuck? There's somebody at the door. Moving on to something a bit quicker is the TikTok channel known as Apt133, Apartment133. Now, he only has two videos to his name, but these two videos have been viewed millions of times. And because of the intensity of the activity, he decided to stop recording. To this day, he still has activity in his home, but he refuses to acknowledge it. I don't blame him. Watch. I literally hate you, bitch. How the fuck do you expect to make money, Julie, if you don't like to work? Julie, my door just fucking opened. What? No, stop. What the fuck? What the fucking fuck? Bitch, it's not even that late. Kevin's not home from work yet. What the hell? My god. What the fucking- oh. No. Oh! No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the f- Julie. You're fucking lying. You're fucking lying. Oh! No. 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 What the f- Then we have Reddit Paranormal with true creepiest paranormal stories that will make you believe in paranormal. This is my shit, man. I love this shit. I love things that make the most logical people go. I think there are two types of people. There are the types of people where something happens and they're like, whatever, and they just keep going, right? They don't even pause to think of anything else. They're just, there's a, there's an explanation moving on. And then there are those who, of us who were like, no, 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 really. What the fuck? What the fuck? First of all, I didn't know that you could spend the night on the USS Lexington. I, you only ever hear about things like the Queen Mary when it comes to like haunted ships and stuff like that and being able to spend the night. I, this is the first time I've heard about being able to do that on the USS Lexington. I am in, who else is in? Let's go, you know, when we're down for that shit. I take care of my mom. I'm not going anywhere. Fuck all y'all. With love. I say with love. Let's check on things a year from now. Cool? All right. Sweet. I was about 10 years old when me and my friend went to say hello to his mom who was working as a barmaid in one of the local pubs. The pub was built in 1461 so it has a good amount of history. After saying hello to his mom, we went to leave and noticed the cellar door was open. Being curious 10 year olds and out of earshot of any adults, we decided to sneak down and have a cheeky look around. When we got down there, it was kind of how you would expect just loads of barrels of booze and storage for other bits and pieces but suddenly we hear this excuse me from behind us. We spin around and there is a lady in the cellar. She says to us you shouldn't be down here and we should go back upstairs quickly. We do as we're told and as we're exiting the cellar, we are caught red handed by the landlord of the pub who asks us what we were doing in the cellar. We explain we just wanted to see what was down there but the lady told us to go back upstairs he looked a little confused by this and asked what lady moving on we have j nightmares with five ghost stories you haven't heard probably because what they do the whole thing with this channel is they translate japanese folklore as well as crime stories and other shit so 
highly recommend. This happened when I was in junior high school. Our school had a new gymnasium built, and there was going to be a kind of concert with students performing to commemorate its completion. I was going to be playing the piano in front of everyone. All the students who weren't involved with the concert were told that they were banned from going into the new gym until after the concert. All of us performers were allowed access to practice in there. The music teacher had set up the stage for the show. It was pretty cool. I decided that I should practice more, so one night after tennis practice, I went to the gym by myself to work on my performance. It wasn't uncommon for kids to be at school until late, so I decided that I would stay till about 9 o'clock. When I got there, I quickly realized that I was going to be alone. No one else was around. This wasn't a bad thing for me because I didn't want to feel self-conscious about making a mistake in front of the other kids involved in the show. On that day, it had been raining from the morning, and it showed no signs of letting up. I remember that the sound of rain was almost drowning my piano out. The rain outside sounded so heavy. Just as I realized how loud the rain was, thunder rang out from above. It was such a loud sound, I remember thinking that lightning mustn't be too far away. Then, as predicted, lightning lit up the whole gymnasium. It was pretty scary, to be honest. The sound of thunder really resonated in there, and the way the lightning lit the whole place up, it made the brand new building feel like a haunted house. Then we have good old Dr. Hollowed with what's the creepiest thing happened to you which you still have no explanation for you knew i was coming right back to that shit. fuck yeah it's my jam a few months ago i had a dream about an icu patient at the hospital where i worked passing away and when i mentioned it to a co-worker the next morning she told me that patient actually did pass during the night at the exact same time that i woke up from that dream I remember it was 2.13 because I got up to pee after. For a while I was getting really frustrated because not only do people like to put the word true in their title when you hear the stories, you're like, bullshit, that's totally creepy pasta, and it's frustrating. And then you have YouTube because of hashtags, probably, being like, oh, hey, here's like a bunch of ghost story videos for you, Amy, and I'm like, not a single fucking one of these. Or ghost stories they're just creepy ass people being you know creepy ass people and nope. and then came along four haunted home ghost stories animated by my animated scary stories looking out for us fam when i started working my last job it was for people who had assisted living homes beautifully built to accommodate the elderly Days before starting work at a newly built house, the company owner had me take some things over there one evening. It was autumn and growing dark earlier with nighttime closing in pitch black, where there were no lighted areas. It was an area where new homes were being built near surrounding woods with very few streetlights. Upon entering the new house, I went to find the place and was told to put the stuff down. I walked around admiring the beautiful new rooms and furniture, although something seemed off. I knew that I was fortunate to be getting the full-time position on my preferred shift working in this beautiful new house. Although I was satisfied, something in the atmosphere seemed very off. It wasn't the expectant feeling of being a bit nervous, working with different people, with most of whom I'd never met or the feeling of emptiness of a place or property having been never occupied. The entire area where the homes were being built just felt off. There's also the final two things to discuss would be the honorable mention of good old Lowy Lane has returned. So we have the, um, we have a TikTok video and then we also have a continuation of her own personal ghost stories. I love those are my favorite videos that she does not gonna lie and her freaking eyeshadow is just beautiful so pretty she did there's a certain look she does where i'm like damn it i don't even know how many shadows are on there right now fuck that looks so good together i can't help it and sometimes it sparkles 
I don't know what else you want from me. So I'm going out, I, I'm going to go let the dogs out again. And before I can even reach the back door, I see what looks like wet prints on the floor next to the dirt, the grass, the things I need to clean up. It looks as though somebody, like human footprints, walked from outside in the rain into the home, into the kitchen, and that's where the tracks stopped. Completely, completely stopped. When I first saw them, I thought, oh, I must have done that. I must have tracked water from the shower. And I, I went to go get a towel. As I was cleaning it, however, I realized that that did not make sense. Because once again, I came from this side of the house all the way to the back door, but the footsteps, the fresh, wet footsteps were coming from the back door. So they could not have been my footsteps, you know? So once I realized, I was just like, oh, oh no. Also, there's a video. We're going to consider this the heads up warning because while I was watching this person tell us their stories of things that happened in this house that she grew up in, right? Which at first I was like, okay, great. There's some good ghost shit, right? And then I, then I, I, I listen. I do admit to being one seriously baked potato. That was a good strain. I hit a point where I was like, am I too baked for this? Should I be watching this? Should I be sharing this? Is this patient zero? What the fuck? Oh, no. I'm going to find it. So consider this your warning that the next video is going to have some shit in it. It's just, it's really intimate too. It's just her and us and her stories and just I wanted my ghost shit. I wanted my haunted house shit. Hi everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with a video on the channel which is going to be talking about my ghost experience. So I have to say before I start this video, this is not going to be suitable for any younger viewers that may be watching. It's a very dark story. It's very real to me and I remember like a lot of what happened so it's frightening. And I also have to say that before starting this video, um, I've had several times where I've switched my camera on and I've tried to record this particular story and for some reason the lights go out, my camera stops working, like I haven't plugged something in or just like something goes wrong and I don't, I don't know what it is. Like even before starting this, my whole set just fell on the floor, like my camera my mouse, I wish I was recording at the time, and if I, like, if I have been recording at the time, then I will actually replay the footage, but it's weird. So this story starts with my childhood. There have been so many, like, it's like somebody heard me complaining about the camping shit and felt like adding more. I'll complain about it even when it's not happening, but what do you gotta add more for? I don't even understand this shit, whatever. It's just, it's terrifying, okay? You're out in the middle of nowhere. All you got is something like Mount Rainier the fuck over there and fucking sassy. Okay, until next time and beyond, please take care. Shit's been extra fucky for everyone. Please take care. I'm trying as well.